Hi there, this is Elisha. And I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video of today, we're going to look at a question that has, that has to do with bearings. So now, bearings are actually hinged on, on, on angles. So if you have completely forgotten about angles, which is a topic which is covered at the ninth grade, then I urge you to revisit that and then you get back here. Okay, so now let's take a ride. What it is is we have this question here. They're saying A, B, and C, A, B, and C are three points on level ground. B is on a bearing, B is on a bearing, zero seven, uh, zero seven zero degrees from A, and C is on a bearing of 130 degrees from B. Calculate the bearing of A from B. So the word from is of great significance when you're dealing with bearings. So you're looking at the bearing of A from. So you go to the point B, that's from B, and then you draw the north. And then you have to draw now an angle that you're looking for. So that's from B to A. So our interest is to know this angle here. What is the size of that angle? So now, there's nowhere where we, we, we've been given the, the size of the angle, starting from here to there. And we haven't been given this angle on the, on the inside. Because if it was given, we could have just added 130 to this angle here. And if we were given this angle and that angle, we were going to make use of it by applying the theorem that angles on the inside of a triangle add up to 180. However, that one hasn't been given. So then how do we determine this angle? So we need to know where to start from. So we need to realize that when we have a line and another line, which are parallel to each other, then we draw a line crossing over them. This one is a transversal. And if we are talking of this angle here and that angle, then we are talking of allied angles. And allied angles add up to 180. So we need to realize that this one and that one are allied angles. They add up to 180. This line and that line are parallel to each other. So now, since we've been given one seven, uh, we've been given seventy rather. What then is B? If they add up to one eighty, then we need to know that x plus y. I've known this one as x and that one as y should give us one eighty degrees. One of them has been given, and that's seventy plus y, which is equal to one eighty degrees. So we need to find the value of y by bringing in that divisors of 70. So that would be y is equal to this one will give us a 0. 180 minus 70, that would be 110 degree. So that's 110. You see that? So now, what is the size of this angle here? So what we need to realize is this angle, that angle, and that angle are angles on a point and when they are added, they should give us 360 because angles on a point add up to 360. So now, uh, the fact that we've been given this angle, that angle, that angle, we need to know we can say 130 degrees plus 110 degrees plus this one, which is not known. And I'm going to name it as X. Uh, should give us 360 degrees. So now when we add these two, they'll give us zero there, one plus three, that's 40. That's 240 degrees plus x, which is equal to 360 degrees. Our interest is to know the value of angle x. So what do we do? This side, we bring in the additive inverse, which is 240 degrees, and that side, 240 degrees. Just in case you have a question on what an additive inverse is. An additive inverse is the number which if added to another number, it gives you, the answer will actually be a zero. So negative one plus one plus a zero. 
If we have negative 2, the additiveness of negative 2 is plus 2. Because when these two are dead, they'll give us a 0. So this 2 will give us a 0. 240 minus 240, that's a 0. x is equal to 0 minus 0, 0. And 6 minus 4, that's 2. 3 minus 2, that's 1. So this angle here is actually 120 degrees. But we are not yet done in that. Our goal is to determine this angle now from here to there. So we can add 130 plus 120. So we can now say solutions. The, the bearing, the bearing of A from B is 130 degrees plus 120 degrees, which is equal to, that's a zero, that's a five, that's 250 degrees. And we found the bearing of A from B, 250. Let's move on to B. Let's move on to B. The saying, find the bearing of B from C. So now, I told you earlier on to say that the word from matters the most. It's very important. So when they're saying from, on that point, draw the north. So you're drawing the line here. It has to be straight. Then, uh, we need to know bearings actually measured from the north and in a clockwise direction. So from C to B. So it's from here to there. This angle here, what is the size of the angle? So first of all, we need to determine the angle on the inside here. So this line and that line are parallel to each other. This line here and that one. So now this angle and this angle are aligned angles, meaning they add up to 180. So if this is 130, this one is 50 degrees. Let's hope you're seeing this. This one is 50 degrees, the one is here. So if this is 50, so what we have is something like this. Let me segment this one up. What we have is something like this. When we complete the circle, we have to have 360 degrees. But out of it, we have a 50 here. Then the question is, what is the remaining angle here? I would say 360 degrees minus 50 degrees is equal to, I think that's 310. 310. So we can say the bearing, the bearing of B from C is equal to 360 degrees minus 50 degrees, which is equal to 310 degrees. Friends, that's how we solve questions that have to do with bearings. If you've liked the video and it has helped you in one way or the other, make sure that you smash the like button. It helps with the algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and share the video with as many friends as you can. So that anytime I happen to post a video, you happen to be alerted. Don't forget to turn on, or to turn on the notification bell as well. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.